Moms, did you know that you're still carrying around a bit of every baby you've grown? Or to be more accurate, a few million bits of them? Hi, it's me, the science baby. While a fetus is growing inside their mother's womb, they exchange all the nutrients and stuff needed to keep them healthy and growing through the placenta. But that's not the only thing that can pass through the placenta. Cells and DNA move from mother to baby and from baby back into mum. And when those cells enter mum's body, some of them stick around and become a part of her. It's called fetal microchimerism. After the chimera of Greek mythology, there's a hybrid of different animals. And that's what you are. Everyone who's ever been pregnant is a chimera of themselves and the babies they've carried. When a mother's pregnant, up to 6% of the DNA floating around in her blood belongs to the baby, not her. But even after birth, those cells and DNA are still there. On average, out of every million cells in a mother's body, three will belong to her baby. And mom has trillions of cells, so there's millions of bits of her fetus left behind. Incredibly, this mixing also happens in pregnancies that ended in loss too, even as early as five weeks. So mothers can find comfort in the fact that they're still carrying a little legacy of their angel babies. Now, the number of fetal cells living inside of mom do decrease over time, but one study still detected them 27 years after birth. Technically, they're foreign bodies that should be destroyed by mom's immune system, but the baby cells are thought to somehow trick her body into keeping them around. And many of them take up residence inside her organs to work normally alongside mom's own cells. There's been a lot of research into whether having fetal cells in your body is a good thing or a bad thing. It's known that women suffer more than men from autoimmune diseases, and fetal cells have been found inside damaged tissue. But on the other hand, microchimerism is thought to protect against certain immune diseases too. Same goes for cancer. In some cases, people with cancer have fewer fetal cells than those without. But in others, fetal cells were found inside the cancers themselves. So we don't know if the fetal cells are causing the illnesses or are somehow responding to them. One possibility is that they're being used as a kind of internal med kit. Since they come from a rapidly growing fetus, many of these cells have the ability to adapt and regenerate in a way that grown-up cells can't. So when there's damage to tissues or organs, the fetal cells can head to the front lines and help to regenerate those damaged body parts. So in a way, your babies are lending you their healing superpowers even before they're born.